The company known today as Loomis Technology got its start over 100 years ago in 1880. Franklin H. Loomis got a patent for his cotton gin and started the Loomis organization. Loomis did not manufacture or sell its own asbestos-containing products. It was considered a sort of contractor in the business of constructing industrial sites like refineries, factories, and power plants where asbestos was abundant by design. These large industrial sites used different types of equipment to run the plant and its processes, and these often needed insulation. Asbestos insulation, cement pipes, gaskets, and even protective clothing were often found at the types of locations built by Loomis. The company was renamed Loomis Industries in 1970 and merged with a Swiss company called ABB in 1988. Another major player in the asbestos industry, combustion engineering, was acquired by ABB in 1990. Combustion Engineering was an asbestos product manufacturing company. When the acquisition by ABB Loomis took place, Loomis also acquired the numerous pending asbestos personal injury lawsuits facing Combustion Engineering. With mounting lawsuits now piling up against ABB Loomis and its subsidiaries, Loomis was nearly bankrupted in the early 2000s. On April 21st of 2006, ABB Loomis filed its petition for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in the U.S. Bankruptcy Court for the District of Delaware. With this filing, the company included its plan for the formation of the ABB Loomis Global Bankruptcy Trust. The trust was funded in 2006 with roughly $30 million. In 2022, 3,980 claims were filed with the ABB Loomis Trust according to its annual financial report. The report also details that $777,000 was paid out in claims in 2022, contributing to the total of over $17 million the trust has paid since it was established. The current payment percentage is 11.7%. This means that of the determined scheduled values for each injury type set by the trust, those who qualify for compensation will receive 11.7% of the scheduled amount. We've helped thousands of people receive compensation for their asbestos injuries. Let us help you.